Well, hey YouTube, so today guys, we're back here with another news story here, and this is Mario Party 11, apparently it's coming to Switch in 2019, I understand why you may not be uh, too surprised about that, to be honest with you, I'm not too surprised about it either, because it's not really a big deal anymore, the franchise really hasn't been relevant since the GameCube ever, the games of the Wii, the 3DS, the Wii U, have all been forgettable, and yeah, that's why I don't really care that much about this, but still, it's still a first party franchise, from the Mario and Nintendo team. It used to have a lot of relevance, relevance in the community. Not as much anymore. But back in the day it definitely had more. Right? So I just want to talk about this game. And what information we have about it. So for now there's just rumors going around. Um, there's a guy named ND Cube. And they've apparently been uh, developing the game for Switch. And so they have more than a year to go. Until the release date. But we, we do have some more information here besides that. And no we don't. So it seems that's really all the information we have for now. I thought there was more apparently there's not here um quickly let's take a look at the community sorry about the screen i know it's pretty dirty i'm sorry about that let me fix that for you there you go i personally really enjoyed the way they made a new multiplayer faster in the destructive path of mario party's walking should have stopped at 11 i agree luck based stuff mario party 10 sold poorly People did not like 9 and 10. Yeah, people are not a fan of these games, man. Well. I do agree. I agree with this guy. I think the old formula is better. I know some people like this new formula where you all kind of go in the same car. Not really a big fan of that, actually. I, I wish they go back to the way shit used to be. You know, I'm just going to be honest with you about that. No online play, so another, another another concept that Nintendo has kind of failed on so far. I mean, what, what you guys, I want to hear what you guys have to say about that down below, but Nintendo has definitely not done a good job here. I want to take a look here. What information can we uh, find here? The, re the reason why I'm making everything uh, so dark, if you notice that, is because it's a lot easier for this phone to just pick up darkness than pure white. So that's why I did that here. So yeah, you have a couple comments here from the community. So, these people seem a little bit more optimistic. Well, that guy, that, that guy is pretty pissed off here. So, I think the right thing to do at this point here is to, let's, let's take a look here at ND Cube here. And let's see exactly what they're known for here. So, let, let's take a look here. I'm just kind of curious, what are they known for? N D Cube here. I, I'm just, just kind of curious here. So, what games are they known for? Let's take a look here. So... Mario Party Top 10 100, not good. Star Rush, crap. Island Tour, eh. Mario Party, you, eh. Mario Party 10, once again, not the best game. Amiibo, oh, oh my god, they made that game. Party 9, Wii Party, ooh, man. I hate to be the bearer of bad news here, but every single game on this list is not that impressive, man. So I'm not sure what, I should, what I'm thinking right now, but it's not good. It's not good because everything they listed here is not very good, man. So I'm kind of concerned about Mario Party 11. It looks like it's going to be pretty crappy again. And yeah, I'm kind of kind of bummed out about that. But overall, if you still want to purchase the game, pre-order link will be down below as soon as the game goes live. You can check it out there. But yeah, this is something I don't suggest buying though. So I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Make sure you subscribe and like for daily news and reviews. And if you do cryptocurrency, buy an answer for a link down below. So yeah, thank you and bye.